Hello, my name is Jack Garland. I'm a video journalist at the BBC. Somebody came to me recently with a piece of camera with uh, a moiré effect on the correspondent's shirt. This is a common effect, especially shooting with DSLRs, when um, the pattern on a shirt, the lines on a shirt, or they could be lines on a window or on a wall, uh, match the pattern on the chip inside their camera, and it creates this sort of swirly effect, which you can see on this correspondent's shirt. And when I looked around on forums, uh, there was a bit of information about how to fix this, but no tutorial videos. So I thought I would uh, do a quick one to show uh, the quick uh, and dirty fix that I did to uh, sort this out. So the first thing I did was uh, cut the clip and copy and paste it. So there's a duplicate clip and I put that dupli duplicate clip over the top of the original one, uh, took off the sound obviously, and then I uh, got a draw mask from the effects menu and I drew around uh, the moiré on the shirt. This is the way that I did it. This is a very quick and easy fix for a news piece and uh, I found it worked totally acceptably for this broadcast. Um, if anybody has any better ideas I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, so first of all I drew around the shirt where the Murray pattern was the worst. Using the draw mask, I did this quite roughly. Avoiding the collars. Luckily the correspondent wasn't moving very much in this piece of camera. I imagine if this was him walking around or something it'd be much more difficult and you'd have to start keyframing and things like that. Once I'd done the draw mask I put a Gaussian blur onto that clip. And you can see at the moment it's far too high, the blur, um, but you can also tell that it's already uh, got rid of that uh, moiré effect. So all I need to do is start bringing it down so it's to a sort of acceptable level. And once I was vaguely happy about where the draw mask was on the shirt, I played with the percentage of Gaussian blur for a bit until I got to an acceptable level, which wasn't too blurry, but it was just enough to get rid of that moiré effect. So this is 5%. Uh, as you can see, it has got rid of that horrible squiggly pattern, but it still looks a bit too blurred for me. So I'm going to bring it down to 1.5%. You can still see it slightly, uh, the moiré pattern there. And so in the end, I think I did it to about 2%, which was a good halfway house between getting rid of the moiré and not making the blur too obvious. I'm sure that any professionals watching this when it was broadcast on TV might have noticed, but I'm sure 99% of the population didn't. So it's a quick and easy fix. But I think 100% of people would notice that moiré pattern on the shirt if I just left it. Uh, I did find that around the bottom of the collar the draw mask was slightly overlapping or the lines on the shirt were becoming a bit more obvious about where the blur began and ended. So I changed the draw mask slightly at this point to cover up those bits. So there you go, I think that's pretty acceptable. So I'm just going to export the clip so you can see how it looks as a uh, Apple Pro S422 full screen. So my computer's running a bit slow, uh, that's why this playback is slightly blocky, but you get the idea. The shirt to me looks pretty unnoticeable. There's no moiré, the blur is very hard to detect. So this is a very quick and easy fix for, um, say, a news piece, which is what this was, or uh, anything you want to put out in a video. And the next best thing to making sure your correspondent doesn't wear a stripy shirt. Anybody has any better ideas, please leave a comment and uh, I would love to read them. Thanks, bye.